All right. <clears throat> Water quality test. Lahaina fire disaster. Thank you for watching. All good things in all good time. Obviously things are, this is not an all good time. But there are some all good things at least. Um, so, here we go. Uh, this is the parts per million tester that comes with the Zero Water. A product I adore. This is not a paid. <laughs> not paid by YouTube. Uh, I'm not getting paid by these guys, but it is what it is. Uh, the truth is what it is. So let's check it out. This is our tap water. 392 parts per million. I don't know if that means it's contaminated or not, but that's what it is. Okay. Let's see what Safeway Select water is. Boom. 27. 27 parts per million on the Safeway Select water versus 392 parts per million. Ah, oh, looky there, Kirkland. 19 parts per million. Even better than the Safeway by just a little bit. Interesting. All right. Well, I hope I ran one water through the zero water. Okay. It's the first. I didn't put water in here first. This is the first water through here. So if that affects it negatively, uh, perhaps that. But anyway, I'm expecting to get pretty close to zero here on a zero water. Let's see. Oh, yeah, zero. Look at that. So. I took 392 parts per million water out of the faucet, turned it into zero. That's cool. Okay. Then we got Kirkland, 19 parts per million. Safeway Select, uh, 27 parts per million. So that's our water quality test for uh, the Lahaina Fire disaster. And if you want to start your day super healthy, put a little bit of that in some water. And drink it. Yeah. Apple cider vinegar. Mm, look, I got some strong coffee. And tiny little toothbrushes, you know, disaster toothbrushes and tiny little toothpaste tubes. <laughs> All right. It's 4 30 in the morning. Ah, I am up like I would normally be for work. Um. There, I look at. Oh, one of my favorite comments. I just got to thank this guy for the comment. A disaster is no excuse for scruffy. <laughs> That's so hysterical. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate you. You are right. I need to not be scruffy. So I'm going to work on that. I promise. That's on my list of things to do. I'm about to whip up a kick ass breakfast, which will then also be a prepped. Mix to throw into a tortilla with cheese, heat up, and make an amazing meal in a hurry with, or you know. So, stay tuned for my disaster cooking video. And thank you for watching my water quality test video. All right, let's see what would be a little bit funny. Hmm. Mm, so many things. One of the things I burned up my, I got all these kind of jokes knocking around in my head. And uh, they just kind of pop out whenever. But I had a lot of them written down. And those those, those are one of the many things. I'm like, ah, it kind of sucks. I got to kind of put together all my thoughts again for whatever. But that's easy. It's fun. It's not It's not work. It's a, it's pleasure. Uh, oh, yeah, anyway. I just realized when my job disappeared yesterday, uh, you know, um, I, 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 I've kind of been uh, almost selfish. Like I didn't realize, you know, everybody else on the island and, and on the west side, no one's got work. They're all losing their shirts. Everyone has big rent. So everyone needs a lot of help here. <laughs> Not just the people like that heard the screams and are you know terrorized by the experience but the people who are now being financially terrorized a friend of mine just quickly decided I'm moving to Oahu 
so he and his sister are going there on the first so they can work because you know uh, that's the one thing everyone on the west side is pretty damn good at is being hard working one percent unemployment rate <laughs> we are a hard working community we love working hard we have a good great lives here we're not living in sad desperation working hard <laughs> Like Joe Rogan would have you believe. <laughs> it's no sad desperation in the workforce here. There's just a bunch of proud, hard workers that make a living, put a roof over their head, and, you know, do it with a smile and have a great life. Oh, my God. It's great. A lot of pride in work and a lot of pleasure in it. So, uh, but ain't nobody got me now. So that's tough. That's like, you know, thank God for unemployment and stuff. But that's only... 60% of up to $60,000 in income, I believe, is what the formula was before, I think, when we started the pandemic. Something I didn't know about, but I think that's what it is. So that's probably not enough. Some people, 50% of their income goes to rent. So, you know, that's not going to leave much. Anyway, um, all right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Aloha.